In this video I'm going to show you the Lamotte Tracer, Pocket Tester, pH, and Total Chlorine. And in a separate video, I'll be going over the Pocket Tester Salt and TDS for you. And the Tracer Pocket Tester comes in this really nice case. And inside you'll find the instructions for the Total Chlorine Pocket Tester, and also for the pH Pocket Tester. You also have this warning here, and you don't want the pH sensor to dry out. And in the instructions it states that you want to store it with a sponge and pH 4 solution. So included are three different pH mini buffer tablets. You have pH 4, pH 7, and pH 10. And included are the chlorine tablets for the chlorine test. And there's a lanyard for the tester. You also have the sample cup. And here's the pocket tester itself. And the unit is shipped with the pH module attached. Inside here you can see a sponge with the pH 4 solution. And also included is a chlorine module. The first thing you want to do is check to make sure that the pH is calibrated. So I'm going to use a pH 7 tablet. And you can use a pH 4 tablet to create a solution to keep the pH module wet. So I'm going to go ahead and put a pH 7 tablet into this distilled water sample. You'll take this included crusher and crush the tablet. Okay, go ahead and turn the unit on. And then you're going to wait about three seconds to make sure that it booted up. And then you want to press the calibration button and go ahead and insert it into the solution. And so it's displaying that the pH is at 7 here. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a pH 10 tablet in. And I'll crush it up. And you're going to follow the same procedure. Go ahead and hit the CAL button. You'll see it displayed on the screen. And it's showing a pH of 10. And each time in this video, I'm getting a new water sample to test. And you want to fill the water sample up to the 20 ml mark. And so the pH here at this pool is right at 8.0. And I'm using the Color Q 2X Pro 9 to verify the readings here. And you can see the pH is coming in at 8 on the Color Q 2X Pro 9. Let me go ahead and put the chlorine module on here. Simply take your hand and untwist the pH module. And go ahead and pull the module off. And then you want to attach the chlorine module. You can see the pins inside there need to line up. Then go ahead and put the nut back on to secure the module. So there's one extra step required to get the chlorine test. You want to put a chlorine tablet in each time you run the chlorine test. Once you have the pill crushed, go ahead and put the cap on the sample cup and go ahead and shake it vigorously for about 30 seconds. Now you want to turn the tracer unit on. And then you want to dip the chlorine module inside the sample and then swirl around for about 10 seconds. You can see that the chlorine reading here is coming in at 5.2. So it's matching up well with the pocket tester. And there are a variety of other tracer pocket tester kits available. You can go to their website to learn more about the different kits that you can purchase. And this is a great way to get the pH as well as the chlorine reading at your service accounts. Pool Service Pro opened a Leslie's wholesale account today and received wholesale pricing on products you use every day. Leslie's Pool Supply offers convenient locations that are open 7 days a week. Another great benefit of opening a Leslie's wholesale account is Leslie's referral program. Get referred to a customer looking for weekly pool service. Save time and money and grow your pool service route and become a Leslie's Pro.